Hey there guys from YouTube. So, I just wanted to do a little update video for you guys. I uh, brought some of my tractors out in the daylight again. And um, I just wanted to share with you guys and, you know, give you an update as to this new one here. Um, this, I actually got over the weekend that just passed. Um, the fella I picked it up from, he was very much like-minded. He restored vintage snowmobiles, and uh, he did really good work. So, regardless, I have now a really nice 1972 LGT100 white wheel um, that's pristinely restored. Uh, he did a very nice job on this tractor. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the original seat, uh, but, I mean, this one does. <laughs> and this one I use, it's a workhorse, it's got scratches, it's a little bit beat up, and, like, don't get me wrong, it's still nice, but I wouldn't mind just putting a black seat on that and then putting this nice blue seat on to this guy to make it 100%. Um, he does have ATV tires on the back. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave those or just put the regular egg tires. Uh, they're 20, 23, 50, 10 by 12, I believe. I'm going to probably switch these out and I might keep these um, just for the sears. Uh, you know, to change tires depending on what I'm doing. These ones are a little bit wider, which would, which would be better for flotation. So... Yeah, this is the latest tractor to the collection. So, with that said though, um, normally the way it goes around here, especially now that I have so many of them, when I would like to buy one, I have to get rid of one. So, uh, you know, one has to go for one to show up, so to speak. So, this was actually a straight trade um, for that Boland's large frame. Now, that tractor did need a fair bit of time and fabrication and uh, parts to make it complete, let alone make it look this nice. So I was quite happy to take on the trade. I let that tractor go. Uh, it went to a good home because the fella would like to do the same thing uh, and clean it all back up, make it nice. And I told him when he's all done, send me pictures, you know, and let me know first because I might buy it back so uh, yeah I guess the large frame is going off to be restored right now <laughs> and uh, for now I got this guy now it's a four speed with a clutch it came with this little trailer the engine is actually bored out uh, it was a 10 horse but he actually bored it out and uh, it's it's rebuilt completely, this whole thing. Uh, the PTO was the last thing that he had issues with, um, and he left it at that point for me to take on and continue. I actually have uh, three or four of these complete PTO assemblies with the two pulleys, like this one. So, yeah, I'm quite excited to have another LGT that's, you know, nice and functional. Um, being that this one's a gear drive, it's a good puller. So it's got this hitch that he's put on there, which is kind of nice. So when you're towing the regular trailers, it's not so low to the ground. Uh, and you could still use your little pin drop trailer. Uh, he had these little eyelets going on on the sides here. So I'm not quite sure where he was going with that design, but I might actually utilize that and do like a sleeve hitch type of thing. But I also don't really want to use this tractor because it's so nice. Um, yeah, I'd be, a, I'd be afraid to scratch it. So it might just be a show tractor. As much as I don't really like doing that, this one's in really good shape. Uh, normally you don't see the grill ever like this. They're 
like this or worse. This one was the best one I actually found that was used out of all the parts tractors that I had. And it has issues. Don't kid yourself, this is not a perfect tractor here. Uh, that was the most recent one. I actually did that. Something slipped off the forks when I had stuff on here and kind of, uh, yeah. Things happened. But I've went through quite a few of these tractors in the last few years and I have quite a lot of these parts. I actually have two more of these spare grills, uh, hood, the headlight assemblies. I got all kinds of the parts for these axles. Um, the Cub Cadet. That thing I'm probably going to sell. Um, as much as I like Cub Cadet and I found one that I do like with the creeper gear, I, uh, I would like to make some more space because <laughs> like I was saying earlier if I make more space I could buy another one so uh, yeah it's always interesting to get them get them home get them running use them but you know after a while it gets boring and you kind of want to find another one again so that's what happens this one here is gonna stick around it's never leaving my possession this is that super 12 special I still haven't really done a whole lot to it, but I'd like to bring it out to the show and just push it out of the trailer and people can look at it. I'm not going to drive it around. Um, and the uh, off-road Sears, it's going to go to the show too. There's a show coming up, uh, Georgian Bay Steam Show. It's in Cookstown, Ontario, and I'm planning on being there. Hopefully I can bring all of my tractors. But uh, I can't guarantee all of this is going to fit <clears throat> on my trailer. So, I mean, right now, I was trying to make it all fit on this one. But that wasn't really happening. I got four in the trailer and then one in the truck and my truck was uh, squished. So, I may have to make something work here. And I do have a friend that has a bigger truck and trailer, so... We're just contemplating on uh, what to do and making a game plan, but yeah, I'm excited to finally have a show coming up to attend, and uh, I have a halfway decent collection now to actually present at the show. I will most definitely be driving this one around. Um, pretty excited to finally own a Ford LGT white wheel that's in good shape and you know I actually had one of these um, with the white wheel but it was so destroyed and broken it, it just wasn't worth saving which was too bad but yeah and the other Ford that is missing out of this whole collection here is the uh, old style angle frame Ford 100 um, that one's still on the work platform in the shed. I need to go through the engine still a little bit more. And uh, I don't think that one's going to make it to the show. Um, it's not quite ready yet. So there's the ones that do run and drive I'm bringing for sure. The ones that aren't 100% like that orange Sears and the Ford 100, they might stay. Even though I'd like to show the orange Sears just because of the colors. It's an awesome design on this tractor. It's partially why I really had to get this one. I just, I don't know the styling of these things back in the day. They had styling. Now they're all just plastic Craftsman's AYP and MTD. But back in, you know, the late days, 60s and 70s, they made some pretty cool looking rugged built machines. So, yeah, till the next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Just wanted to share a little update video. And uh, if any of you guys are going to be down in Cookstown, Georgian Bay Steam Show is happening. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be the 29th to August 1st, the long weekend. So, hoping we'll see some of you there. But till the next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.